Good evening, good morning, good night. We're watching this transmission. Tis I, Mike Martins. This is going rampant all over um, Yahoo Finance, and I kind of just wanted to throw that out for you guys. Uh, throw this out there. It's actually something that uh, needs to be discussed, especially because I talk about the housing market for years now. And the article's um, titled, They Paid What? Toronto House Overrun with Mold Fetches 650 Large. 650 Large. And where interest rates are sitting at right now, you're looking at minimum $2,200 a month payment. And this, you're paying at least $6,000 a, a year in property tax for that. So, why? Look at the, it's got tarp on the roof. And I'm not trashing the house. It's a complete teardown. But someone paid 650 large for this house. Not Magic Johnson's house. Not Chuck Norris's house. Heck, not even Madonna's house. For that. So, there are a lot of jokes that one could be make about growth on the Toronto real estate market, but let's cut right to the chase. This property is growing actual mold. Located in Scarborough, east of the city's downtown core address, has so much mold that buyers could not access the main floor or basement. That's a big deal because it's a bungalow. The listing recommends extensive renovations inside and out. That sounds about right, given the ceiling has caved in and the basement is pretty frightening. The home sold for $650 large, $100,100 over its $549,000 asking price. Click through the slideshow to see more of the home and let us know in the comments below if you think the price for this house is fair. So if you're living in the United States of America, this would be... Five hundred and twenty-seven thousand, uh, five hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars, U.S. Oh man, it, 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 yeah, they're just gonna have to tear it down. Look at the ceiling. Holy smokes! That that's you could party in there. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I, Okay, can I tell you what this looks like to me? Like this, like seeing this scenario here, right? Okay, this is what it looks like. And I brought this up before on trends in the housing market many times, right? It's like this. I'm going to look up a 1982 Volkswagen Scirocco. There you have it. A 1982 Volkswagen Scirocco. And. Now let's go like. 19, Lamb. What a familiar car here. This. Let me get a bigger one here is a 1998 Lamborghini Countach. What does this have to do with this house? Everything. People are paying Lamborghini price for a 1982 Volkswagen Scirocco. The 1982 Volkswagen Scirocco don't think it's going to go up in any more any more value. I think it's reached its peak for an 82 Volkswagen Scirocco. Lamborghini, you could probably sell it for what you bought it for if you take care of it. You could probably get your money back, maybe get your money back. But why are people paying Lamborghini Countach prices for this car and laying it on an 82 Volkswagen Scirocco? That's exactly what you're doing when you're paying 650 large for that house. Oh, supply and demand, Mike. Supply and demand. You still have to pay the mortgage off, Einstein, for the next 55 years of your life. And you're going to spend 300 large to 
you know, you got to rebuild that place. And in Canada, it's not it's not like in the U.S. to build houses. In the U.S., you could you could erect a house for about sixty six thousand, like a decent home. You know, fifty thousand in lumber and the rest in other materials and windows. In Canada, to rebuild that house, you're looking at six hundred thousand dollars, and that's how it is in Canada with all the red tape. So I'm not bashing the house. I'm just all I want to know from you guys is why are people why are people laying Lamborghini price? Okay, they're not collecting. They're laying Lamborghini price on an 82 Volkswagen Scirocco, and that's exactly what is happening here. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And uh, am I just delusional? Maybe, is that worth 650? Is that really worth like 520,000 US dollars? Not pesos. Comment below. Let me know.